got some exciting news. Do you guys want to go on a vacation? Yeah? Uh, what's a vacation? Ah, ah, oh, I feel so much better. Some people have to pee when they wake up, but I have to burp. Ah, ah, I'm awake. I'm good to go. Yeah, what's a vacation, Mom? You girls are really weird, but you're my daughter, so I have to love you. A vacation is like when you go somewhere super awesome and you stay there and you don't work or do anything hard or crazy and you just vacate. Well, just like you just party and have fun and enjoy the world around you. What do you guys think about that? Does that sound amazing to you? Does it? Does it? What about school and our friends and our teacher? Will they be on vacation? No, they won't be on vacation. But that's, that's the point of vacation. You get away from normal people that you see every day. So yeah, what, what do you guys think about that vacation? Vacation. Doesn't it sound amazing? I don't know, Mom. You sound really excited about it. Maybe you should just go. That's not the point. Um, have you guys ever been... Well, I know. But you guys have never been to the beach. And uh, I think it'd be really fun. Oh my gosh, the beach? Where like all the sharks and the creepy fish and the seaweed and everything is? Oh, gross. I don't want to go to the ocean. That sounds so absolutely horrible. Yeah, that, that, that does sound absolutely horrible, Mom. Maybe you should just go. We'll stay home. We'll, uh, we'll take care of ourselves. Oh my gosh, girls. No, that's not what it's like. The beach is like beautiful sunset and the ocean breeze and sand between your toes when you're walking and you get to eat and, and drink and and just splurge on yourself and just ah feel the ocean at your feet it calls to me oh my goodness i can't help but just ah freak out so you guys want to go you want to go come on you know you want to go anyone anyone Sparkles? Sparkles. I know you'd want to go. You love swimming. You love being a mermaid and all this other stuff that you said about being a dolphin. I don't even know what you're talking about. But come on, don't you want to go? Uh, to tell you the truth, Mom, it, it doesn't really sound like a really fun thing. You sound way more excited about it than we do. <sighs> All right, well, that's it. You guys are going. I tried to make it fun and give you guys a choice and make it sound like it was your decision, but nope, you guys are going. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mother. Um, you, uh, you're going to make us go away from our school, our friends, our teacher, our everything that we know, our beds, just to go swim with creepy fish and sharks and seaweed? That sounds absolutely disgusting and horrible. Why would we want to do that? And now... Even giving us a choice whether we can go or not that's just wrong yeah 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 i'm siding with harper on this one mom sorry um i don't really want to go yeah me neither it kind of sounds horrible you and dad should just go no we're not going on vacation without our baby girls so you guys are coming um you all need to practice your piano and get packed do your laundry get everything done that you need to get done for the next few days i have a lot of errands to run so step on it and oh sorry harper it's okay anyways um yeah step on it and uh let's let's get a move on Ugh, i hate it when she whacks me with her ponytail rude well guys what do you think should we go on this vacation i definitely don't want it it sounds it sounds not fun Guys, you guys, we have to go. We don't have a choice. If we don't go, Mom will call babysitter Vicky, and we don't like her. So we might as well just suck it up and, and do what Mom said. We might end up liking the vacation. We don't know. We've never been on one. So uh, I guess we should uh, get our chores done and our piano practiced. Always full of wisdom, Harper. Always full of wisdom. What can I say? I'm the wise old owl of the family. Well, I'm going to go practice the piano first. Just go get one. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll go look for one. All right. 
Bye. It's better than this. Oh my goodness. I need to go see my therapist. A toilet, cutie? Really? A toilet? Yeah, I thought it was clever. <laughs> it is clever, good one, cutie. Thanks, Sparkles. I'm glad someone appreciates some good humor. Oh, girl, you know I got you. Oh, yeah, I know you got me. Harper doesn't get me all the time, but that's okay. Well, you guys, as much as we don't want to, we should uh, probably start packing up for our vacation and uh, get on it. I don't want Mom to go crazy and freak out on us. It's never a good sight. Yeah, very true. Good point, Harper. She gets really crazy and mad when she freaks out on us. It's insane. All right, well, we should probably go up to our bedroom so we can start packing our clothes or whatever. The oh, last one there is a rotten egg. Does it count if you're spoiled rotten? Uh, probably. First of all, what in the world are we even supposed to pack? Uh, probably our first aid kit. Yeah, but I'm not planning on getting hurt. Harper, no one ever plans on getting hurt, you silly goose. Ah, yeah, true. Well, if we're going to the beach, um, we probably need to pack our swimsuits. Okay, got mine. Yeah, got mine too. Uh, well, that was easy. Um, I don't know what else we're supposed to pack. We're pretty low maintenance. Maybe you. I'm not low maintenance. I actually brush my teeth once a day. Ew, I brush my teeth twice a day. Nope, once a day is plenty for me. I'm good. All right, well, I guess we'll need uh, toiletries and shampoo and stuff and towels for when we get wet and shower and go swimming. We're going to need a comb to comb our beautiful hair after we swim. Oh, yeah, and we'll need a sponge, too, to uh, clean ourselves, I guess. Yeah, and a toaster. Just like this one. A toaster? Yeah, so we can eat toast! What in the world? Yeah, I don't know what you guys are planning on eating, but I'm bringing my toast. Ah, true. Good point. We can't forget about our swimming gear. Yep, we can't go swimming without our swimming gear. That's for sure. Oh, I'm right there with you, Sparkles and Cutie. Let's do this. I'm actually getting kind of excited about this whole vacation thing. It'll be the first time we go on vacation, but hopefully it won't be the last. I'm just hoping we like it. Look at this, Harper. Of course we're going to like it. I know. But if we're bringing the babies, it might be kind of difficult to enjoy it. I kind of hope. I don't know. I love the, our little sisters, but I kind of hope that they're not coming. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I think it'd be fun if they came, but at the same time, it'd be kind of difficult if they did come because they'd have to be in uh, life jackets and we'd all have to be watching one of them and it'd be maybe not as fun after a while. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yep. Let's go ask Mom if we're bringing the babies. Mom! Mom! Where are you, Mom? Hi, Harper. What, what is it? Hey, um, are we bringing the babies on the vacation? Um, I actually don't think we are. We're going to have um, the babysitter watch them, I think. I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll bring them on another vacation, just not this one. I just want to spend quality time with you girls. Oh, Mom, you love us? That's so sweet. Of course I love you girls. I just haven't been able to spend a whole lot of time with you guys uh, this year so far. We've just been so busy, and I was pregnant with the baby, so it was really hard, like, feeling good and being happy and, yeah, whatnot. So, yeah. Mom, I like your dress. It's very elegant. Oh, this old thing? Huh. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think it's elegant at all, but thank you, cutie. That's very sweet of you. She does not look like an elephant, cutie. That was rude. I didn't say elephant. I said elegant. That's not what I heard. It, I, I didn't say elephant. That wouldn't even make sense. Yeah, she said elegant. Don't worry, 
say about it, Sparkles. Mom took it as a compliment anyways. Yeah, Sparkles, you're, you're funny. She said elegant. Elegant means like fancy and pretty. But thank you, thank you, Cutie, and thanks, Sparkles, for uh, having my back and, and uh, making sure uh, weird things weren't being said. Anyways, okay, keep packing, girls. We got a lot more to do. Oh, wait, 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 Mom. Hey, Mom, come back. Yes, dear. Um, are we bringing the boat so that we can go on the boat and float? Float in the boat on the water? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're bringing the boat. It should be a lot of fun. So, yeah, pack up your swimsuit, um, swimming things that you are going to want to have, sunscreen, towels, all that stuff. And as soon as you guys all are packed up, we can actually start um, packing up the car and get ready to go. Oh, are you okay, Sparkles? Yeah, Mom, I'm fine. I'm just smelling the ground. Weird. Okay. All right. Have fun, girls. Sparkles, why are you smelling the ground? You're so weird. Come on, guys. We know we all smell the ground from time to time. Well, I think we are all packed. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think we're packed for the most part. I don't think we're going to need a whole lot more. We just need to grab some towels, and I think we'll be good to go. I'm really happy that the babies aren't coming. I, like, I'm sad to leave them, but it'll be super fun. Yeah, it'll be great parent-child bonding time out in the ocean, in the middle of nowhere. It should be good. Yeah, you elephant, it should be good. Hey, did you call me an elephant? <laughs> yeah, I actually did that time. Rude! Don't call me an elephant, that's mean. Nah, it's funny. No, it's mean. Yeah, you're right, it is mean. I'm sorry, forgive me. Okay, I forgive you. Let's go on vacation! Okay, girls, we're all ready and packed for our vacation. We can now hit the road. You guys ready? Yeah, we're ready, Mom. But first, what do you mean by hit the road? Because, um... Remember, don't take it so literal. They don't really mean hit the road. They just mean we're going to start driving to the, our vacation place. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, we're ready. Okay, let's go. OMG, I'm so excited. Ah! This is gonna be amazing. I love driving and driving in traffic. This is the best day of my life. Woo! Are we there yet? I'm getting tired of sitting. Ah, my bum is hurting. Yeah, and I'm hungry. Do we have snacks, Mom? Yes, girls, we have snacks. Here's a bag of chips. <gasps> chips? Yippee, I love chips. My chips. No one can have chips. Except for me, they're mine. Ken, how much longer do you think we'll be? Uh, it depends. Ugh, there's a lot of traffic. It's uh, it's like everybody's out going on vacation all of a sudden, so it's gonna be a little bit longer, maybe like two more hours. Plus, I gotta drive a little slower because we're uh, towing the boat behind us, so yeah. Okay, girls, we've got a couple more hours to go. Just hang tight and just try not to bother each other. Mom, I have to pee. Sweetheart, you're just gonna have to hold it. We can't pull off to the side of the road right now. There's no side of the road, so it'd be dangerous. We'd be like stopping traffic. So just try to hold it, Harper. All right, I'll do my best. I can't wait till we get there. It's gonna be so beautiful and awesome and the weather's gonna be nice and cool and beautiful. I can't wait! <laughs> Jeez, traffic is literally crawling right now. Add another five hours on top of the two hours that I told you. Ugh, we're going so slow. Jeez. Get out of the way, you slowpoke. I'm driving here. Ah, really? Calm it down, honey. Your temper's not going to get us there any faster. These people just don't know how to get out of the way. Uh, why is my seat wet? Uh-oh. Mm. Harper? Harper, did you pee? I said I had to go really bad. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that is disgusting. I can't sit here, that's so gross. How could you pee, Harper? That's disgusting. Sorry, guys. I told mom that I couldn't hold it. Ew, my dress is getting all wet. Ew, oh my god. Mom, Harper peed. What? Harper, did you just pee? Yeah, mom. All right, it's okay. We're almost to the bathroom. We can, we can pull off now. Oh, ew, ew, this is absolutely disgusting. Cutie, I need you to get in your seatbelt. But it's wet! I can't sit there! Cutie, it's more important that you're in your seatbelt safe than being wet. I'm sorry, it's really gross. But what if we get in a car accident? You have to be in your seatbelt. You don't know what could happen. Oh, Mom, I'm not sitting down there. She is right, Cutie. 
We just have to sit here for one more minute and then we'll be at the bathroom. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, girls, we're here at the bathroom. Go ahead and get out and go potty. Toilet. Ah, so much better. Woo, I had a full bladder, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Woo, I had to go to it. I didn't realize how bad I had to go. Oh, yeah, so much better. And in the bladder. Super awesome. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. Hey, you guys, I have to go, too. Hurry up. Hey, <laughs> you have to go, number two. TMI. Oh, no, I have to go. Also, I have to use the bathroom. Hurry up, guys. I don't know. It's just nice to be out of the car for a once. I might just sit here for a minute, enjoy myself. Hey, yeah, me too, cutie. My gosh, hurry, you guys. Oh, yeah, okay, I think I'm done. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, no, just, it's just gas. Never mind, I'm good. Ew, Harper, that smells gross. Then don't smell it. I can't not smell it. You're in the stall next to me. Oh, yeah, good point. You're welcome. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, I'm done, Sparkles. You can come use the toilet. I'm just washing my hands now. Oh, finally. Ew, why is the ground a mess? There is toilet paper everywhere. Oh yeah, I don't know. Who's like that when I got here? Ew, my toilet seat is wet! That's gross! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, I'll be in the car, Sparkles. Alright, sounds good. Oh, this bathroom is disgusting. I'm sorry, Harper, but I am not sitting next to you again. I cannot chance that you pee all over again. <laughs> You're a loss. I'm super awesome to sit by, so whatever. Gosh, what is taking Sparkles so long to go to the bathroom? She's a girl, honey. Girls just take a while sometimes. It's okay. Oh, it's not. Not when I wanted sons. Hey, take that back. We can't control whether we have boys or girls. All right. You're right. My bad. All right. Looks like my work here is done. I'm going to go back in the car. Okay. I'm coming. What is on your dress? My dress? What do you mean my dress? I don't know what you guys are talking about. <gasps> oh. My. Gosh. <gasps> How did this get on me? <laughs> you got toilet paper stuck in your underwear. <laughs> Not funny. I'm going to go take it off. Okay, no more toilet paper tail. That was so embarrassing. Okay, are you girls ready to get going again? Let's do it. We are ready. Oh, finally. Okay, guys. Let's go. All right, kiddos. We're finally here. That was a long drive. Oh. It's about time we show up. I have to pee again. Don't tell me that. Don't even dare thinking about peeing. Don't worry. I'll hold it. Oh, my gosh. This place is beautiful. Girls, let's go inside and check out our new beach house. What? You never said anything about a beach house. <gasps> I'm so excited now. Well, where did you think we were going to stay? At some hotel? I don't know. What's a beach house? No, a beach house is like a house on the beach. It's super cool because, like, you're right by the water. So awesome. Speaking of water, I can see the water from here. It's so beautiful. OMG, I'm going to die. This is so cool. Here's the front door, you guys. This place is beautiful. Okay, let's go inside. Wow. This is gorgeous. Holy smokes, you aren't kidding. Beach houses are awesome. This is so amazing. Yeah, and even better, everything is our size. The sink, the oven, the fridge. It's so cool. Wow. This is the kitchen table. Let's go check out the family room. This place is off the charts. It's amazing. Holy cow, you guys, this is going to be such a fun weekend. It's going to be amazing. I know. I'm actually getting kind of excited about this vacation. I'm glad we listened to Mom and we actually came. Yeah, and I'm glad that the babies aren't here because it'd just be... It'd be enjoyable, but just not as enjoyable. Yeah, I definitely agree. Hey, I wonder where our beds are. Where are we going to sleep? Yeah, we could probably go upstairs and look. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, guys. Holy cow. That's a lot of beds in one room. I call the top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> go for it, Harper. It is a lot of beds for one room. That's pretty funny. This bathroom is pretty cool. I like the bathroom. It's nice. Yeah, it is pretty nice. Hey, wait a second. I didn't see a bed for mom or dad. There are two extra beds, but they're way too small for them. Maybe they're sleeping somewhere else. Yeah, probably. Hey girls, what do you think? Doesn't this place look so fun? It does, Mom, but where are you and Dad sleeping? Oh, we're actually going to sleep in the lodge just above this one. 
<sighs> it's uh, this this one's a little too small, and it was cheaper just to get two different lodges. So, yeah, rather than a big lodge. <laughs> so yeah, uh, where's Harper? It's on the big bunk bed on the top. Oh, okay. I'll go see what she's doing. Harper, are you up there? Yeah, hi, mom. Just laying down in my bunk bed. Okay, you doing all right? Yes, mom. Just reacclimating to the new environment. That's all. All right, dear. Just checking on you. So, what do you think about the beach house, Barbie? Um, I think it's pretty awesome. I, as long as the girls are happy, I'm happy. Yeah, I feel the same way. Mom, can we go see where you and Daddy are sleeping, please? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Beauty, Sparkles, do you guys want to come see where we're sleeping at? You know it. Yeah, I'd like to come. Okay, it's just right above this condo that we're staying at. Just come follow us up. Whoa, this is so cool. Hey, can we get up on the hammocks, Mom? Sure, Harper. How do you get up on the hammocks? You have to climb this this uh, tree trunk with the sticks coming out of it. Ah, best day of my life. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Hey, I want to get up there. You can't right now, cutie. There's only two hammocks. Oh, no fair. Uh, Barbie, honey? Yes, sugar bear? Is this the bed we're sleeping in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so tiny. Sorry, honey. I asked for a California king. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, next time, make sure you say we need a California Barbie queen. We're taller and bigger than most people. I know, honey. I'm sorry. I will... <laughs> I'll get it right one of these times. All right, girls. Who's ready to go in the water? Oh, me, 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 me. I'm ready. I'm ready, too. Ow! I'm ready. Let's go. Can we go in the boat, Mom? You sure bet we can. You guys get your swimsuits on. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. Let's do this. Okay, Mom, we're ready to go. We have our swimsuits on. Don't we look adorable? Oh, yes, girls, you look very adorable. <laughs> yes. Girls, we do need to go over some rules and some safety things about being in the ocean and being around lots of lots of people. We are okay. all ears, you got Mom. It. First of all, being in the ocean is a lot different than being in the bathtub or in a swimming pool. Girls, I don't want to scare you, but the ocean can be very, very dangerous. If you're not careful, it can, it can kind of suck you in underneath and drown you. It can suck you in and drown you? That's it, I'm not going in the water. Girls, no, no, that's not my point. I don't want you to be scared, but I want you to be aware of what the ocean is like. The more that you can know and understand, the better off you guys will be. One very, very, very important thing though about being in deep water is wearing a life jacket and flotation devices. As long as you guys think about what you're doing and the action that you're about to do or, you know, as long as you think about it and think about the consequence or the effect that will happen, you guys should be okay. A lot of people end up getting injured or even die if they're not thinking ahead. So whenever you do things that could possibly be dangerous, you just have to think ahead. I always wear my life jacket, Mom, and my floaties. I don't want to risk drowning because that's just creepy. Yeah, no matter how strong you are or how brave you are or, or things like that, you should always wear some kind of a, a flotation device because you never know what could happen. So even a big, strong, hairy man could drown? Yeah, hairy guys can drown, Mom. Hairy <laughs> guys, you guys crack me up. It doesn't matter if you're hairy or not, or strong, or weak, or big, or small. Anyone can drown. Oh, ah, okay. Okay, girls, well, let's get your life jackets on and your floaties, and we'll uh, head to the beach and uh, have some fun. Yay, okay, sounds good, Mom. Thank you for enlightening us about the dangers of the ocean, Mom. That definitely will, um, help us. Good. I'm glad, cutie. You crack me up. Can we go towards the water, Mom, now that we have our floaties on? I don't really like wearing my floaty. It's, like, super in the way and annoying, but I guess it's important to wear these, huh? Yes, very important, Harper. I actually like mine. Mine helps me feel safe. Like I won't be sucked into the ocean forever. <laughs> are you going to swim, Mom? And are you going to wear a flotation device? Yeah, of course I am. Well, is Dad going to? Flotation device? Um, I'm not sure. Well, why not? I'm still trying to teach him how important it is to wear it. But we'll, we'll get there. Dad doesn't wear a floaty at all, ever? No, Harper, he doesn't. 
You just said Harry, old guys can drown too. No, Harper, I know what I said. Your dad is just kind of stubborn sometimes, and no matter what, he thinks he's stronger than, than he really is. But I think with time, he'll get there. Does that mean we're smarter than dad? Yes, Harper, we are much smarter than our old hairy, grumpy dad. Really? Um, not really. Maybe in some ways, but uh, your dad's pretty smart. Well, apparently, he doesn't wear a floaty when he goes swimming. Who doesn't wear a floaty when they go swimming? You, Dad. Yeah, you're right. I do need to get a, a flotation device. I'm definitely wrong for not wearing one. You girls are very, very smart, and I wouldn't even let you go swimming in the ocean or anywhere if you didn't have a flotation device. Shame, Dad. Shame on you. You need to wear a flotation device then. If you make us wear it, you need to wear it. We love you just as much as you love us. You are very right, kiddo. I'll, I'll have to get one. Thank you, honey. Yep. After all these years and me trying to get you to finally agree to wear one, and it takes our daughters to tell you that you need one. <laughs> all right, it's hard. Sometimes it takes a while to come around, all right? But I'm, I'm warming up to it. Okay, girls, who's ready to head to the ocean? Me, 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 me. And let's go, let's go. All right, let's go. Get in the boat in the water. I'm following your foot tracks, you guys. Wee! Okay, everyone. Are we loaded? Yeah, we're loaded. We're good to go. Kind of freaking out right now. Okay, here we go into the water. Whoa! This is so cool! Whoa, Harper, we've never been in water like this before. I know. It's pretty crazy. I'm freaking out a little bit right now. This is so amazing, honey. I love this. Yeah, it is pretty nice, huh? Yeah. This is awesome! Best day of my life! It's a little bit rocky. Yeah, it's because it's windy, honey. Yeah, true. This is a little bit scary, but a lot of it fun. Hey, do you guys mind if I get on my surfboard for a while? No, go ahead, Ken. We don't mind. I just... I will take the wheel. Hey, sweetheart, look at me. Whoa! Yeah! Surfing the waves! Oh, yeah! Whoa! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Surfing is my life. I love it so much. Woo! Well guys, if you look down this, you can see the bottom. The bottom of the ocean? Uh-huh. Whoa, you're right. Hey girls, I'm gonna go uh, hitch the boat up to the side so I can do some sea doing. Um, you guys okay with that? Mom, well, that's okay. Thanks, girls. I won't be out too long, just for a little bit. Okay, Mom, have fun. Don't be too long. Don't worry, I won't. Hey, honey bunny, just floating around? Yeah, pretty much. It's so beautiful here. I'm glad we came here on vacation. Ah, I just want to get out and float. Yeah, it's super nice here. I love it. Ooh, that's a cute little boat. I'm gonna get on it. Surf's up, dudes! It's cool because I can lay in it. Whoa! I wouldn't get in that boat, Harper. It looks dangerous and the waves are getting big. Don't worry, cutie. You're always such a scaredy cat. The waves aren't getting that big. I'm fine. Plus, this boat is, is tied to the dock, so I'm fine. Girls, honey. Yeah, okay. Wait, I'll get on my sea dew. You get on your, your surfboard, honey. Okay. I'm so cool. Yeah. Hmm. Why is Cutie on top of the boat? Hey, Cutie. Mom, oh, Mom, Mom. Harper got sucked into the ocean, just like you said. She's gone. What? No, you've got to be kidding me. Holy cow. We got to go get her. Ken, we got to get the lifeguards involved. We can't do this on our own. Oh, sure we can. It's our daughter. We're going to find her. 
the ocean, Ken. She could be anywhere. All right, let's call the lifeguards. Mama, are we gonna find Harper? Yes, we will, Sparkles. Don't worry, we'll find her. We sure hope so, okay? Um, hi, lifeguards. Um, we need, we need some help. My daughter is gone and she floated into the ocean. And, um, I'm trying to calm down. I can't. I'm freaking out. We're over in the ocean on the beach. Okay, see you soon. Bye. It's gonna be okay, Barbie. They're gonna find Harper. Don't worry. Freaking out. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Hey, uh, where are the lifeguards? Did your, did your wife, did you guys call and say that you needed help finding your daughter? We sure did. Thank you so much for showing up. Hey, every life matters. Yeah, so we'll start searching. We have two other lifeguards with us. Hi, sir. Um, we're gonna find your daughter. Don't worry. Um, did you, did she go out this way? I believe somewhere out in that general direction. Okay, we'll start looking for her. You guys are in really good hands. We have the best lifeguard staff on, on call right now, so don't worry. Yep, don't you worry. We're gonna find your daughter. What's her name? Her name is Harper. Okay, Harper, okay, good to know. We'll find her, sir. What color hair does she have? <laughs> it's black and white. And is she wearing a life jacket? She actually is, yes. There's a good chance she's still out there then. Still still floating and still alive. Just because of her life jacket? Yes, just because of her life jacket. People often underestimate life jackets and, and flotation devices, but really, they are very important. All right, sir, we're going to start looking for her. Stay on the shore with your family. Keep track of your, your family and make sure they don't wander off because we don't need another person eh, floating in the water. You got it. say honey uh, they said they're gonna do the best that they can to find Harper and uh, there's a good chance that she'll be okay because she's wearing a life jacket uh. oh, thank goodness oh I'm just freaking out right now I don't know what to think help! Help me! Help me! Help! Help! this is possibly the worst day of my life Ken come here honey okay Everything's going to be okay, Barbie. Don't worry. We have four lifeguards looking for her, and she has her life jacket and arm floaties. Thanks to you for being a good mom. Harper's going to be okay. I know it. Sure hope you're right, Ken. I'm always right, sweetheart. Uh, funny, Ken. Cutie, do you think we're going to see Harper again? Of course we are. I think the lifeguards will find her. I really do. That's what they do for a, a job. They're super good at it. Yeah, I sure hope so. I can't imagine our life without Harper. Yeah, me too. It would be horrible and super sad. Can I feel so sick to my stomach? This is the worst feeling ever. I feel like a horrible mom. All I wanted to go was do some sea doing next to you while you were surfing and then... And she got out of the boat. <laughs> Honey, I know it's so hard not to feel guilty. But we told them to stay in the boat, and Harper didn't listen. I don't know what else to say. Don't worry, the lifeguards are going to find her, and she's going to be okay. You are the one that told them to wear a life jacket. Maybe something inside you told you to really make sure that they knew the importance of wearing a life jacket and arm floaties and flotation devices in general. Because, because you did, it's going to be okay. It prepared all of us for what could happen and like you said you never know what's gonna happen oh geez ken you always make me feel a little bit better about myself <sighs> thank you i hope they find harper 
Me too. And the sun is going down, so it's going to be harder to find her. All we can do is wait. I'm crying my eyes out. No. It's okay, honey. You can cry. It's going to be okay. Found her. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Hey. Help me. Help me. Hey, come here. Come here. The lifeguard will save you. Come on. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Can you bring me back to my mom and dad and sisters? You sure bet. All right, let's head back. Ken, I see the lifeguards way out there. Do you see Harper with them? I can't tell quite yet. They're coming though. Slowly but surely, I don't, I can't see any little people on there yet, but I bet you Harper is on there. Harvey, Ken, we found her. You found her? Yes, we found her. Mommy, Dad! Harper, my baby, come here. Harper, you can't do that to me. You scared me half to death. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so glad to have you back. I'm so glad you made it safe, Harper. I think... The life jacket and floaties definitely saved you and helped you stay above the water. Yeah, I think you're right, Dad. Thank you so much, you guys. You don't know what you did for our family today. Uh, you're welcome, sir. I think we've got a pretty good idea. We're out uh, saving a lot of people, even children, pretty often. If not every day, every other day. Hey, I think if it weren't for the parents, you guys, your daughter wouldn't have survived that. A lot of kids and, and parents don't realize the importance of life jackets. They save your life. They really do. Yeah, it's not very often that we go um, find people that have gotten swallowed into the ocean and they're still alive. So it's, oh my gosh, it's so sad when we find little kids or even adults that don't survive and they end up drowning. It's very sad. So thank goodness. Um, you told your kids the importance of life jackets, and thank goodness that your kids listened. Yeah, yeah, you're so right. A lot of a lot of kids don't even listen to their parents, and they don't really uh, see the importance in listening. Yeah, so we're uh, really glad that this uh, situation turned into a positive one. Harper, you're alive! Harper's alive? Harper, it's so good to see you! I thought you were going to be dead. Dead? What? I'm wearing a life jacket! We were just like really scared for you. We didn't know what was gonna happen, so we were like freaking out and we told you not to get on that little boat. Speaking of which, where is the little boat that you left on? Yeah, about that. Um, it's, it sinked into the bottom. It went down to the bottom of the ocean. That wasn't even our boat. I wonder whose boat that was. Yeah, I don't know. I guess uh, they're not gonna get it ever again. My bad. Hey guys, well, uh, we, uh, we gotta go. So uh, we gotta go save some more lives. Um. But I'm glad you, uh, you have your daughter back. I'm glad we could find her for you. Yeah, thank you so much. You really don't know what you did for us today. Thank you so much, lifeguards. Oh, thank you so much. You guys saved my sweet Harper. Thank you. No problem. It was our pleasure. Just remember how important water safety is. See you guys later. Well, actually, hopefully we don't see you later. If, that, if we see you, you later, that means that we're saving one of you again. So stay safe. Maybe I'll see you at the grocery store or something. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. You scared us to death, Harper. I can't believe you got out of the boat and you weren't supposed to. I am glad that you are safe now and, and out of harm's way. And I'm very thankful that those lifeguards were on call and that they were able to go find you. Lesson learned, Mom. That's something I will never do again. That was absolutely terrifying. I felt very alone and not in control at all. Well, yeah, I can see why. All right, girls, well, it's getting pretty late, and uh, it's been a really long day, so I'd like for you girls to get ready for bed. We forgot our PJs, Daddy. Can we just wear our swimsuits to bed? Uh, no, I'd rather you didn't. Your swimsuits are dirty. Just put on uh, your guys' overalls or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, Harper, you need to start getting ready for bed. Okay, Mom. All right, girls, good night. Have sweet dreams. Good night, Harper. Good night, Dad. All right, honey, it's time to go to bed. All right, Ken. Is it just me, or is it super cold? It feels extra cold probably because we're by the water. It's pretty cold, sparkles. You could put a beanie on that might help. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah, that helped a little bit. It's still cold, though. Hey, I want to put my beanie on now. Hey, my beanie doesn't even fit me. Hey, yeah, my beanie doesn't even fit me either. Hey, guys, uh, I know Mom and Dad told us to go to bed now, but I think I'm going to go back to the ocean. What? You can't.
can't go back to the ocean. It's getting late. The sun is starting to go down. Sparkles, I don't think you want to get sucked into the ocean like I did. Well, no, I don't, but I want to go find Barbie Mermaid. She's super cool, and I'm sure this is where she lives. I know there's got to be some mermaids here, or at least just her. I love, I love mermaids, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go find her. That doesn't sound like a very smart idea, Sparkles. You don't have to think so. I'm, I'm gonna go find her. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Hopefully she's at least back by morning time. Yeah, and hopefully she doesn't get swallowed by the ocean. Barbie Mermaid! <laughs> Where are you, Barbie Mermaid? Hello! Whoa! This is so cool! What is this place? Wow! This slide looks so amazing! Oh my goodness! <gasps> I gotta go down it! Here goes nothing! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, 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 wait! Don't go down! Barbie Mermaid? Is that really you? I knew you were gonna be over here! How are you? Well, I'm sorry, dear. I, I can't remember if I know you. Who are you? Well, I'm Sparkles. You probably don't recognize me in my awesome beanie. And you probably don't recognize me without my sisters. Um, we saw you one time and you turned us into little mermaids. Oh yeah, that's right. You and your sisters. Yeah, you guys are so adorable. You're Sparkles then, right? <gasps> you remember me? Yes, I'm Sparkles. Ah uh, yes, my dear, I do remember you. <laughs> so what is this place, Barbie Mermaid? It looks pretty cool. Well, this is actually where I teach baby mermaids how to be mermaids and how to swim and how to build their muscles up. As you can see, there's all sorts of ladders and slides and things like that, you know. So, yeah, this is where they learn. Can I learn how to be a Barbie mermaid too? I'll tell you the truth, you weren't born a mermaid, so, you know, it wouldn't be the same, but we could run through some different things. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Okay, well, do you have your swimsuit? Not exactly, it's at home. Oh, okay, um, well, are you okay with swimming in, in your clothes like that? Well, yeah, that's what I was planning on. Okay, well, uh, first things first, we'll have you go down this yellow slide right here. Oh, okay, sounds good. All right, here goes nothing. Ah! Ah! Help me, help me, help me, help! Help, Barbie Mermaid, help me! Oh, dear, you don't know how to swim? No, I don't know how to swim. All right, well, let's get you back up. Holy cow, that was terrifying! I am so sorry, Sparkles. I at least thought you knew how to swim if you were wanting to be a mermaid. Are you kidding me? I don't know how to swim. I'm really little still. Yeah. <laughs> well, where are your sisters anyways? And why don't you have your swimsuit on if you were wanting to come swim? Sisters are at home sleeping. Did you sneak out? Yes, I did sneak out. Why? What's what's it worth to you? You shouldn't sneak out, Sparkles. It's dangerous. Well, yeah, if I was going somewhere like to meet a stranger, but you're not a stranger. Yeah, but your parents don't even know where you are. And if they find out that you're gone, they could end up being like worried sick and send out police and stuff to look for you. Barbie Mermaid, I thought you were cool. I didn't think that you were gonna act all like grown up on me and stuff. Don't worry about me. I'm, I'm a big girl. I can, I can make my own decisions. I know you can make your own decisions and, and choices and stuff, but I, I am just looking out for you. Who's to say I'm not a bad mermaid? You know there's bad mermaids out there, right? What? I thought all mermaids were good mermaids. Oh, there is such thing as a bad mermaid, trust me. And you know, I have daughters of my own and I keep a really close eye on them and I make sure that they don't swim places that they're not supposed to. And I make sure that when they're home, they really are home when they say they are. And I make sure that they're at the places that they tell me they're gonna be. I just wanted to come and hang out with you. I didn't think you were gonna get after me. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I just know, uh, <sighs> How I would feel if my daughter were out and about and, and not where she said she was going to be. So, I'm just looking out for you. And why didn't your sisters come with you? Well, they didn't think it was a good idea. So, they just stayed home. They, my parents told us to go to bed, so they went to bed. But I just really wanted to come see you. That's really sweet and I'm flattered, but you need to use common sense. If your parents told you to go to bed, you should probably just go to bed and listen to them. All right. You always want somebody to know where you are. I know your sisters knew you were coming out here, but you always want at least a grown-up to know where you go. Well, that's a dumb rule. I don't like that. Okay, if it's so dumb, let's say you you go somewhere and you get picked up by a stranger. They kidnap you. No one knows where you went. No one knows where where you're going to go. You're stuck. You're, you could get into a lot of big trouble if no one knows where you are. Yeah, that's a good point. That is pretty serious. Yeah, you always need to listen to your inside. 
what your what your heart and mind are telling you to do. All right, Barbie Mermaid, I'll go back home. All right, Sparkles, I didn't mean to scold you, but it's super important to use common sense, and you really should never go out in public by yourself. It's not safe. All right, I guess you're right. <sighs> okay, I'll go home. I'll see you later, Barbie Mermaid. All right, we'll see you later, Sparkles. Sparkles, what happened? Well, what happened was Barbie Mermaid got after me. <laughs> oh my gosh, you got scolded by a mermaid. <laughs> Cutie, it's not funny. Actually, it kind of is. You got scolded by a mermaid. Mermaids don't scold people or kids, but she knew how wrong you were to go out in the middle of the night to go into the ocean. I, you're right, I guess that is a little pathetic. All right, you guys, it's probably time to go to bed. Let's go to sleep. Good thinking. Yeah, mm, what a beautiful day it is. What a beautiful day. Glorious. All right, hey girls, you ready to wake up and uh, go boating? Yeah, sure, Mom. Mm -hmm. So, um, Sparkles, Harper, you, you ready to go boating? Yep, I'm ready, Mom. Let's do this. Hey girls, get your swimsuits on, and uh, we're going to go as soon as you guys are ready. Okay. Mom, we're ready now. You sweet girls. Okay, wait, where's Sparkles at? Why isn't she up? Uh, probably because, uh... Don't tell her. It's up to Sparkles to tell her. Oh, um, well, we don't know. All I know is she just stayed up really late doing something. I'm not sure what. Yeah. Uh, we don't know what she was doing. Cutie, don't burp. That's really gross and, like, rude. Alright, well, uh, I'll go wake her up again. Sparkles, wake up. We're gonna go boating again. I'm gonna sleep. I'm so tired. I'm gonna stay right here, Mom. You go boating without me. Oh, Sparkles, knock it off. This is our last day on vacation. You're coming with us. Come on. Sparkles, come on. Let's go. Ah, this hot cocoa is so good. Hey, I want some hot cocoa. It's cold out here. I'm not used to it being so cold. Can I have some? No, my hot cocoa. Rude. Sparkles, I want you to wake up and come downstairs as soon as possible, okay? I'll be waiting for you downstairs. Okay, Mama. Okay. <sighs> All right, I'm up. What do you want from me? Holy cow, Sparkles, you look like you got hit by a bus. Actually an underestimate. You look like you got hit by a bus, chewed up by a tiger, mauled by a bear, thrown up by a dragon, lost in an Egyptian pyramid, stuck in a coffin for 25 million years, and then dropped off into your bed from a helicopter ride that almost exploded. Sweetheart, what is wrong? What did you do last night? I went to said but now to get to get the birdiedum, badum. I'm right, big doo, doo You're in a lot of trouble. Sparkles, come here. Yeah, okay. Come in. Come in. Ow. Oh, ouch. Oh, over here. Okay. Oh, I'm coming. <sighs> Hi, Mom Lady. What's going up? Oh, she's happening. Oh. Girls, do you know what's going on with Sparkles? Um, I'm not allowed to say. She'll get mad at me. And I'll get more mad at you if you don't tell me. Oh, okay. She snuck out last night, Mom. What? Where did she go? We went to uh, the ocean. What? You went to the ocean last night, Sparkles? <laughs> Mermaids. <laughs> How come you girls didn't tell me that she was sneaking out? Oh, uh, well, we kind of thought that you wouldn't find out. <laughs> Fish sticks. <laughs> Fishes in the ocean and stuff. <laughs> Moms find out about everything. Shame on you girls for not looking after your sister. Sorry, Mom, we didn't think this would happen. You didn't think what would happen? Getting caught? You guys always get caught. Mostly because I'm a really good mom and I uh, know what's going on all the time. Well, most of the time. Oh, whales. And barbecues. <laughs> and chickens of the sea. <laughs> We're really sorry, Mom. We didn't know it would be this bad. It's always going to be bad. No matter who sneaks out, you guys are going to get in trouble. Swimming turtles. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mom. Why did she sneak out? Where did she go? I went to Barbie Land, where the mermaids are. On Earth, Barbie Land? Mermaids? What's going on? She went to go look for the mermaid. No such thing as mermaids. When are you guys going to wrap your heads around that? Actually, Mom. Actually what? Actually, they do exist. I saw a Barbie mermaid last night. What on Earth? <laughs> You guys are so... Ugh, you're missing the point. The mermaid is on point. 
Um, one of these times, when you're wanting to, we'll take you out so you can meet Barbie Mermaid. She really does exist, I promise. Yeah, she really does, Mom. You gotta believe us. We're not always making stuff up. This time, we're telling you the truth. Yes. So whenever you want to come out with us and, and you want to actually meet Barbie Mermaid, you should come. Yeah, but if you don't believe she exists, she's not going to show up. She can tell. She can read your frequencies. Yep. You have to definitely believe in her to be able to see her. What is wrong with my children? You guys didn't teach you to be this way. Turkeys can swim. Actually, Mom, you did. You taught us to believe in ourselves and to use our imaginations all the time. Yeah, and you said if we can think it and we want to be it, we can, we can achieve it. Right, imaginations. You're using your imaginations to see this mermaid Barbie. It's not true. Sorry, girls, I can't handle this. I think we need to end our vacation right now. You guys are driving me crazy, and Sparkles isn't even able to function enough to go boating. And you guys are just... <laughs> I'm upset that you guys didn't tell me that she snuck out of the house last night. That's horrible. And she went to the ocean. How dangerous can that be? And we need to pack up and go. I'm sleeping here in this super comfortable bed. Not. This is the most uncomfortable bed I've ever slept in. All right, well, if we go, maybe I can get some good sleep once we get home. Sounds good, dear. Let's pack up.